Hey everyone, a few days ago I made a community post asking you to leave all your questions since I often get asked about things like my keyboard, monitor, techniques, screen, scroll speed, and other things. And the response was overwhelming to say the least. So today I'm here to answer most of those questions. But before we start the video, I want to say that this video is sponsored by you. Your subscriptions and likes on my videos will be a lot that really motivate me to keep making them. So thank you for that. And don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have any suggestions. And with that said, let's begin with the video. So the first question is going to be by Ian. And numbers, whatever that is. Um, could you include your eternal skins in GitHub too? In which game did you feel you improved the most? And eternal or Osu? Cat. Um, I actually can't, but then I will be missing one of my Eterna node skins, which is the Red Arrow skin, where I was using Osu to Eterna, a theme that doesn't work in the newest updates, so I'm sorry for that. And what I'm using right now can be uploaded, however. For the second question, Eterna does definitely help me more for my improvement, and it's as it helps me with new goals, and also I can push for scores in Osu. That will be around 97 or 98 given the nature of timing windows on Eterna, so it does help me more. Second question is going to be by Snowy13. Shout out to you. Who was your inspiration to play Mini? Actually, I was inspired by one video a long time ago, uh, probably around 2015 or 2016. Before that time, I had already played Rhythm Games and Bizarre G, which was Twitter Flash and other games. One of my favorite games in childhood, by the way. I remember watching the MWC 4K 2015 Grand Finals video where the USA was against Japan, and I was astonished by those players and scores. And that's where I realized that I wanted to play Mini and get to play the World Cup one day, which is essentially the reason I play with Mini to begin with. But in terms of people, when I was already playing Mini, I used to play or watch Light Blade Spice, Saiyan, Silly Finger, Yurisai, Yage Lee. Cheetos and other mores. So, yeah, those are my inspirations actually. I have a couple of them now. Um, I wouldn't mention them right now because that's out of the question, but yeah, I look up to a lot of players now. Next question is going to be by Darken5396. That says, Who inspired you to play Taika? I always do. wanted to play Taika, but thought it was impossible to get good at. But I definitely was inspired by the Chile and Uso Taiko players, and also U68, a player that I loved watching back then because of his insane accuracy and insane consistency in speed stream maps. I remember watching his The Limit Does Not Exist play, I thought it was like the greatest thing of all time, and now I can kinda play it. Well, not kinda, I can play it now, and it's insane to, to see how far he was from his time. Next question is going to be by Estrophy, or however you pronounce that. Uh, what was your first rhythm game? And who got you into rhythm games? And what is your favorite part in BSRG 4 key? So, my first rhythm game, like many other people, was Guitar Hero in 2009. I remember I watched my cousin playing with a guitar on his PS2, and I was so incredibly amazed by this that I just had to ask my parents if they could get one of these for me. So, at 5, I was already playing rhythm games, and that's when I fell in love with the genre. And I can say I have a favorite pattern in 4 key, but I have my favorite type of pattern or type of pathing, you will say, will always be tools that are straightforward, nothing too complex, such as Jetstream and Kerjack, for example. Next question by Andrew Gabriel Kumia. Can you play Funky Friday in Roblox, please? Um, I don't know about that, maybe. I, I like to troll time to time with my friends when I get in Roblox. And maybe one day there will be an actual Funky Friday video by me, who knows? Maybe Healyfungers has something to say? Huh? But you will see soon. I don't know, maybe next week, or who knows? Lower makes this question. What is your best advice to the coming players in the improvement in the game? Uh, about this, my best advice to the coming players will be that they don't entirely focus on improvement. And I meant this because there will be a point where team is the purpose of the game, which is having fun. People shouldn't focus too much on the area of improving, you will naturally improve if you play the game, but when you see yourself too fixated with the idea on the idea of having to be good in the game, 
you start to get frustrated. Even getting stuck because of the game, and that is not what you would like to see. I mean, fight with the game is what I always recommend. Then you will see the actual improvement, which is what I did. And should be the main focus people should have. But then again, this is just advice. You could do this, or you could also take it competitively to some point. I don't know, that's your choice. Next question by Korea77. How long did your winning take to get to your place? Mm, it depends actually. I got the winning after 3 weeks or so. Next question by Sniper Life 6447 What is it being friends with Eliminate and see we find you and not our top players? I mean, the anguish is pretty obvious. Outside of being obviously insane players and incredibly terrifying at what they do, they are actually very nice people and have given me very meaningful friendships and memories that I really care about and I'm absolutely grateful. I think I had the chance to make really good friends from people I used to admire in the past and see they are really great and have supported me a lot during my journey, it's really rewarding. Next question by Kyonining. Do you still find the game fun? Hmm. Okay, good question. I find the game fun when I have a purpose or goals for it, which I do at the moment, obviously. And I think it's normal to not find things fun when you don't really have a purpose for it. But at the moment, yes, I do find the game really fun. But a few months ago, I didn't really because I ran out of goals. Or also had more interest in doing more stuff like spending time with my loved ones, studying or playing in other games as well. And I think I won't stop finding the game, the game fun because I, I'm now motivated to make content about it. Now, Kating Caps. Why is everyone addicted to dance? Okay, so be careful, be aware, this is going to be a jabbing session. Well, not too much, but you will see. Because this is a really important topic in the community. And my answer will be, I also like, no, but at the same time, I don't. I am a bit of the reason people is addicted to this, and I, I feel like, because I started pushing a lot of for them, for example, with Epsilon 2019 or 2020, and then with others, the other dance, Leave them to 1.1, 1 .1, 1 or 5, whatever. But I don't think it's a bad thing to some degree. I'll explain why. The use them as your goal for improvement is good, but it is never really the most important part of the game, obviously. I use it because these are goals that I can use to improve to some point, and it's only also improved in the game since 2018. I suppose people saw the concept of dance and seen that there is some kind of indicator of how good you are. Just like other competitive games, make people obsessed with them because the farther you go, the more important you think you are. Next question by Prep Nothing. Do you think clearance set a SP? I don't know what that is. Unlock the keyword is possible? Probably yes. I was able to get a near than 96 in Epsilon with a $5 keyword, so why not? It's around the same. Except for Angel Dust. Hmm. Unlock the keywords are actually pretty nice and underrated, especially for accuracy. My next question is going to be by Slyark2217 Why do you look like a Tian? And also, do you enjoy Yosu Mini or Eterna more? Mm, I don't think I look like a Tian at all, but he's epic. I enjoy both a lot, but if I had to choose one, it would be Yosu Mini because of the tournaments that I love playing, playing accuracy and the speeding number ones, making fun multis, and also because you can enjoy Tenjai more. You can combo your way and get zero misses with. 300 grades, looks cool. Next question by Guillermo Evilio Function 9720. Any other games you'd like besides Mania? Of course, I actually have a ton of games that I really enjoy playing. Platform games, for example. I love Mario a lot, especially Sunshine, Galaxy, and New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which was the first game I completed 200% like 12 years ago. And I think time is flying a lot. I also enjoy FPX games a lot. I play a bit of Valorant on CS, sometimes very casually. Sport games like FIFA and some other arcade rhythm games, just like you beat. This unpronounceable name. E8 Evo. Para cuando esta mitilina preciosa. T Lord, can you adopt me? Nope. Bacony. How does your stream overlay work and what program do you use? Um, my stream overlay works with String Companion and it's very easy to set up actually. I use composite, composite blur for the backgrounds and the rest of the overlays I made them with Photoshop. 
for the mini trackers are usually ones that you key me and you can easily find them in his github repository and i want to clarify that i don't see those in game and for that you will need another tutorial since i don't really use it so what are my winning settings my winning settings are different depending on what i'm playing i will leave them in the description if you have a winning keyboard and you want to use them I, you just have to copy them if I'm playing accuracy or long nose, activation point will be set to 1mm and rapid trigger will be set to 0.45 and I wipe, when I play anything harder, I just say f**k it and leave everything to the minimum ECPP Play! Are you Ohio? Yes Sigma This question is made by Abashi Why aren't you gonna run as the president of Chile? Hmm. According to our constitution, the minimum age to run as a president here is 30 years old so around that time you will have the first Sasuke with the president in Chile's history and also the first Osumania player in the world to be a president and those are the questions I would re respond to for today of course we will be missing some and there were a lot of you that left a ton of comments and I sincerely appreciate it I will respond to them in the next part but thank you for watching the video till now don't forget to leave this subscription and as I said before follow me on Twitter where I'm kind of active at Good for ice cream and I will see you in the next video.